My name is Olushe Gumokuolu, and I want to speak to you about adultery. Adultery is common and rampant today. You have situation where there are adulteries between married couples, adultery between married and single, all manner of adultery. It looks normal. It's becoming common. But I want to say to you, God is against adultery. And God is against adulterer. The marriage bed undefined. God will judge every warmonger. Adultery reduces a man or woman to a piece of bread. Can a man take coal on his fire, on his laps rather, and not be burned? So is a man that goes to another man's wife. This is what happens. You burn your life, you burn your soul. You think you are having pleasure. Few minutes of pleasure is destroying eternity. You can mint a mint today. Adultery is one of the manifestations of the flesh. The Bible says, They that live like this shall not inherit the kingdom of God. If you don't inherit the kingdom of God, what else will you inherit? There is no excuse for adultery. Sexual denial in marriage is not an excuse. You're not going to stand before God and say, Lord, it's because my, my spouse does not give me sex or it's because my spouse does not know how to dress or it's because my spouse is not good in bed there is no excuse for adultery adultery will injure your soul adultery will injure your spirit you cannot have a walk with god adultery will destroy your past your present and your future that is why i'm calling on you today to turn to God and repent. You have hurt your spouse. You have hurt the body of Christ. You have hurt God. You have sinned against heaven. You need to cry for mercy. You need to cry for repentance. The scripture says, He that is being rebuked but refuse will perish suddenly and without remedy. Don't let that be your portion. Jesus is waiting to set you free today. Adultery will lead you nowhere. You are looking for hidden and secret places to sleep with people. You are chatting with other people's spouses. You are having emotional affairs. Jesus said if you look at a woman and you lost after her in your heart, you have already committed adultery. But you can make it you turn today. God can show you mercy. Don't let adultery cut your life short. That is what it does. It cuts people's life short. You think you are smart? You think you can delete all those records? You think nobody is there? Nobody knows about it? You are just in an hotel, in a guest house, in a friend's house, somewhere? You think nobody hears about it? God sees it. In fact, the judgment of God is more serious than if it had been your spouse who had caught you. Therefore, make amends today. Turn around today. Repent of this sin. What have you gained in adultery? Nothing. Just destruction, injury. Jesus warned in the book of Revelation. He said, I will commit to bear those that commit adultery with her. The Lord was going to put them in the bed of sickness. That was Jesus himself speaking. So you can repent today. He said, I will kill her children. Don't allow your children, the life of your children, to be cut short because of your foolishness. Cry unto Jesus today. Repent of your sin. Make your way right to God. And you will find forgiveness. You will find mercy today. My name once again is Solusha Gumokulu. God bless you as you repent.